What would you do if you discovered the person you trust most is leading a double life? This video delves into the heart-wrenching story of a woman who believed she had the perfect marriage until she uncovered her husband's shocking betrayal. As we explore the twists and turns of their relationship, we'll uncover the signs of deceit that went unnoticed, the emotional turmoil that followed, and the tough decisions that had to be made. Stay tuned as we reveal the painful truth behind this seemingly perfect marriage. In this story, W are discussing the seemingly perfect life of Mark and Sarah, a couple who appear to have it all. Mark is a successful businessman, known for his charm and charisma, both in the office and at home. He is the kind of husband who never forgets an anniversary, always bringing home flowers and little surprises to show his affection. Sarah, his wife, is the epitome of a loving partner. She is kind, supportive, and devoted to her family. Her friends often admire the strong bond she shares with Mark, seeing them as the ideal couple who have figured out the secret to a happy marriage. Their life together is filled with cherished moments, weekend getaways, cozy dinners, and shared laughter over inside jokes. Sarah believes that Mark is her soulmate, the one person she can trust above all others. They have built a life together that many would envy, complete with a beautiful home, two adorable children, and a circle of friends who adore them. To the outside world, they are the picture of happiness, and Sarah feels blessed to have found such a perfect partner. However, as we get to know Mark and Sarah better, subtle hints begin to emerge that not everything is as flawless as it seems. Despite his outward appearance of the perfect husband, there is a certain distance in Mark's eyes, a slight detachment that Sarah sometimes notices but dismisses as stress from work. The love and trust that Sarah has in Mark are unwavering, making it even more heartbreaking when the first signs of deceit start to creep into their relationship. The initial signs of Mark's deceit were subtle yet alarming to Sarah, a loving wife who had always trusted him implicitly. It all began with minor, almost imperceptible changes in Mark's behavior. At first, it was just the late nights. Mark, who had always been home promptly after work, started coming home later and later, claiming to be caught up in important meetings or dealing with pressing business issues. Sarah, wanting to be supportive, accepted these excuses, believing in Mark's dedication to his work. However, she couldn't shake the growing sense of unease that something was amiss. Mark's phone, once a casual accessory, now seemed to be an object of constant scrutiny. He would guard it closely, even going as far as to lock it when Sarah was nearby, a behavior that was out of character for the open and transparent man she had known for years. Sarah's concern deepened when she noticed changes in Mark's routine. He began to take longer, more frequent trips to the gym, though he had never shown much interest in working out before. When Sarah asked about these new fitness goals, Mark brushed her off with vague answers and an elusive smile. The discrepancies didn't end there. Sarah also observed that Mark had developed a new habit of working late on weekends, a time they had always reserved for family activities and quality time together. He would come home exhausted, often making excuses for why he needed to go straight to bed, leaving Sarah with a growing sense of isolation. Despite these red flags, Sarah initially chose to trust Mark's reassurances. She reasoned that he was just under stress and needed some space, or perhaps he was indeed genuinely occupied with work. However, her intuition gnawed at her, especially after she found an unfamiliar perfume on Mark's jacket one evening. The scent lingered even though he had claimed he was working late at the office. The growing pile of unexplained receipts for expensive dinners and gifts further fueled her suspicions. Mark would often claim these were business expenses or gifts for clients, but Sarah found it hard to believe, especially when the amounts were significant and seemed incongruous with the frugal lifestyle they had always maintained. One evening, Sarah's worst fears were realized. She had been working late herself and decided to surprise Mark by arriving at his office to bring him dinner. What she found instead was a scene that shattered her trust. Mark was in a cozy, dimly lit corner of a restaurant with a woman who was not his wife. Their body language was unmistakable. Intimate laughter, lingering touches, and a level of closeness that was profoundly unsettling. The sight was a brutal confirmation of her suspicions, and Sarah felt her world tilt on its axis as she stood frozen in shock, barely able to process the painful reality unfolding before her. 
When confronted with the evidence of his betrayal, Mark's reaction was a mixture of guilt and defensiveness. He struggled to provide a plausible explanation for his actions, and his usual charm seemed hollow in the face of Sarah's heartbreak. The confrontation was fraught with raw emotions. Sarah's voice trembled with a mix of anger and sadness, while Mark's attempts to justify his behavior fell flat against the overwhelming evidence of his infidelity. The conversation was charged with pain and betrayal, a poignant reflection of the deep fissures that had developed in their relationship. Sarah, grappling with the weight of this discovery, faced the daunting task of navigating the fallout from Mark's deceit, a challenge that would test the very foundation of their marriage and her own sense of self. In the wake of the confrontation, the atmosphere at home was tense and charged with unresolved emotions. The trust that had once been the bedrock of their relationship was now shattered, leaving Sarah to grapple with feelings of anger, betrayal, and profound sadness. Mark's apologies, though heartfelt, did little to erase the damage caused by his actions, and Sarah found herself questioning the very essence of their relationship. The process of coming to terms with this betrayal was not just about addressing the immediate pain, but also about understanding how the once secure foundation of their marriage had been eroded by deceit. The moment Sarah discovered the painful truth about Mark's infidelity marked a turning point in her life, a revelation that turned her world upside down and forced her to confront a reality she had been desperately trying to avoid. After witnessing Mark with another woman at the restaurant, Sarah was engulfed by a whirlwind of emotions, shock, disbelief, anger, and a profound sense of betrayal. The sight of Mark, who had always been her pillar of strength and the person she trusted above all, intimately involved with someone else, was a brutal confrontation with the reality she had been dreading. The immediate aftermath was a blur of tears and emotional turmoil as Sarah struggled to process the enormity of what she had just witnessed. Her mind raced with questions. How long had this been going on? How could Mark, whom she had always believed to be honest and faithful, betray her in such a devastating manner? Returning home that night, Sarah was overwhelmed by a sense of numbness. The house, once a sanctuary of warmth and love, now felt cold and alien. She moved through the rooms like a ghost, each familiar corner now a reminder of the trust that had been so violently shattered. Her heart ached with every step, each echo of her footsteps, a reminder of the love that now seemed so fragile and broken. The reality of Mark's betrayal seemed almost surreal, as if she were trapped in a nightmarish version of her life, unable to escape the crushing weight of her grief. As Sarah grappled with her emotions, she began to piece together the fragments of the past few months that had seemed disjointed and confusing. She replayed the conversations, the excuses, and the subtle changes in Mark's behavior, trying to understand how she had missed the signs of his infidelity. Every memory, every overlooked clue, now seemed to scream at her with a clarity that was both illuminating and painful. The realization that Mark's deceit had been an ongoing affair, rather than a momentary lapse, added layers of complexity to her grief. The emotional weight of knowing that her husband had been living a double life, compartmentalizing his love and loyalty between her and another woman, was almost too much to bear. Confronting Mark about his infidelity was an emotionally charged and agonizing experience. Sarah decided that she needed answers, and the confrontation would be her moment of clarity and confrontation. When Mark arrived home that evening, he was met with Sarah's intense gaze, a look that conveyed her hurt and betrayal more eloquently than words ever could. The tension in the room was palpable as Sarah, her voice trembling but resolute, laid out the evidence of his betrayal. She spoke calmly, but with a firmness that belied the turmoil within her. Mark's initial reaction was one of shock and denial, but as Sarah presented her case, The confrontation quickly escalated into an emotional battlefield, with both Sarah and Mark expressing their pain and frustration. Sarah's anger was raw and unfiltered, a powerful response to the betrayal she felt. Her voice cracked as she recounted the moments of intimacy and trust they had shared, only to have them undermined by Mark's actions. Mark, on the other hand, struggled to find the right words to apologize, his remorse overshadowed by the realization of how deeply he had hurt the woman he had once promised to cherish and love. 
The emotional exchange was a harrowing experience for both, a moment of reckoning that revealed the deep fissures in their relationship. As the confrontation reached its peak, Sarah found herself grappling with a profound sense of disillusionment. The person she had once viewed as her soulmate was now exposed as someone capable of profound deceit. The emotional impact of this realization was overwhelming, and Sarah had to confront the painful truth of how much her trust in Mark had been misplaced. The intensity of her emotions, anger, sadness, betrayal, was compounded by the uncertainty of what lay ahead. The future of their relationship hung in the balance, and Sarah was faced with the daunting task of deciding whether to try to rebuild what had been broken or to walk away from the marriage that had been so fundamentally altered. In the days that followed, Sarah found herself navigating a complex emotional landscape. The confrontation with Mark had opened the floodgates of her grief and confusion, and she struggled to find a way forward. The emotional fallout from the confrontation was a blend of clarity and chaos, as Sarah began to come to terms with the magnitude of Mark's betrayal and its impact on her sense of self. She sought solace in conversations with close friends and family, leaning on their support as she wrestled with the decision of whether to attempt reconciliation or to end the relationship. The process of healing and decision-making was fraught with difficulty as Sarah faced the dual challenge of processing her own emotions while also considering the implications of her choices for her future. Throughout this tumultuous period, Sarah's journey was marked by a profound sense of introspection and self-discovery. The betrayal had forced her to confront her own vulnerabilities and question the nature of trust and commitment in her relationship with Mark. The process of uncovering the truth and confronting the painful reality of Mark's infidelity was a transformative experience, one that challenged Sarah's understanding of love and loyalty. As she navigated the emotional aftermath, Sarah was forced to reassess her own needs and desires, ultimately seeking a path that would allow her to reclaim her sense of self and move forward with clarity and strength. In the end, the confrontation with Mark and the subsequent journey through the emotional turmoil marked a significant turning point for Sarah. The process of uncovering the truth, though painful and challenging, paved the way for her to address the underlying issues in her relationship and to make decisions that were aligned with her own values and sense of self-worth. The experience was a testament to her resilience and strength as she navigated the complexities of betrayal and sought to build a future that reflected her own sense of integrity and self-respect. The aftermath of the confrontation between Sarah and Mark was a tumultuous period filled with emotional upheaval and difficult decisions. The evening of their intense exchange left both Sarah and Mark grappling with the gravity of the situation. For Sarah, the emotional toll was profound. The trust she had invested in her marriage had been shattered, and she found herself navigating a landscape of confusion, betrayal, and heartache. The days following the confrontation were marked by an intense internal struggle as Sarah wrestled with the painful reality of Mark's infidelity and its impact on her sense of self and the future of their relationship. Sarah's initial reaction to the betrayal was a mix of disbelief and anger. She had to come to terms with the fact that the man she had loved and trusted so deeply had been living a double life. This realization was not just a blow to her heart, but a profound attack on her sense of security and self-worth. The emotional fallout was intense and multifaceted. Sarah found herself questioning everything she had believed about her marriage, about Mark, and about herself. The relationship that had once been a source of comfort and stability now felt like a source of profound pain and disillusionment. In the weeks following the confrontation, Sarah's home, which had once been a sanctuary of love and trust, felt like a battleground. Every corner, every object seemed to carry the weight of the betrayal. Sarah's routine became a series of emotional highs and lows. She struggled with sleepless nights, plagued by intrusive thoughts and memories of happier times that now felt tainted by Mark's deceit. Her days were marked by a sense of disorientation and sadness 
as she grappled with the overwhelming task of processing her emotions and figuring out her next steps. Mark, too, was deeply affected by the fallout from his actions. His initial attempts to apologize and make amends were met with skepticism and hurt from Sarah. His remorse, though genuine in some respects, was marred by the complexity of his betrayal. Mark found himself confronting the harsh reality of the damage he had inflicted on his marriage and on Sarah's sense of self. He faced the challenge of reconciling his own guilt with the understanding that his actions had deeply wounded the person he had once promised to love and cherish. The emotional weight of the situation was a heavy burden, and Mark struggled with feelings of shame and regret as he came to terms with the consequences of his behavior. During this period of emotional chaos, Sarah sought support from her friends and family. Their presence was a vital source of strength and comfort as she navigated the storm of her emotions. Conversations with loved ones provided Sarah with different perspectives and helped her to process the betrayal in a way that felt both validating and therapeutic. The support network she relied on became a crucial element in her journey towards healing, offering her a sense of grounding amid the turbulence of her emotions. The process of deciding what to do next was one of the most challenging aspects of the aftermath. Sarah faced a difficult choice, whether to attempt to rebuild her relationship with Mark or to move forward separately. The decision was fraught with emotional complexity. On one hand, there was the desire to salvage the marriage and rebuild the trust that had been broken. On the other hand, there was the profound pain and sense of betrayal that made the prospect of reconciliation seem daunting and perhaps even unfeasible. Sarah had to weigh her own emotional needs against the possibility of repairing the relationship with Mark. Mark, in his efforts to make amends, proposed various avenues for reconciliation. He suggested couples counseling, open communication, and a renewed commitment to their relationship. He expressed a willingness to address the underlying issues that had led to his infidelity and to work towards rebuilding the trust that had been so severely damaged. However, Sarah was faced with the challenge of determining whether these efforts were sufficient to overcome the deep wounds inflicted by Mark's actions. The process of rebuilding trust was a daunting one requiring both time and a genuine commitment to change. As Sarah contemplated her options, she began to focus on her own healing and self-care. The betrayal had taken a toll on her emotional well-being, and she realized the importance of prioritizing her own needs and mental health. Sarah engaged in activities that brought her solace and comfort, such as spending time with friends, pursuing hobbies, and seeking professional counseling. These efforts were not just about finding a way to heal, but also about rediscovering her own sense of identity and self-worth in the wake of the betrayal. The decision-making process was also influenced by the dynamics of their relationship and the history they shared. Sarah had to consider the depth of their connection, the positive aspects of their marriage, and the potential for growth and change. The emotional investment she had made in the relationship was a significant factor and it weighed heavily on her as she considered the possibility of working through the issues with Mark. Ultimately, Sarah's path was a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. The betrayal had forced her to confront difficult truths about herself and her relationship. She emerged from the experience with a deeper understanding of her own values and desires. The process of navigating the aftermath of Mark's infidelity was not just about addressing the immediate pain, but also about charting a course for a future that was true to her own sense of self. The aftermath of Mark's betrayal was a period of profound transformation for Sarah. The emotional journey she undertook was marked by a range of feelings, from anger and sadness to resilience and hope. Her path forward was shaped by her own experiences, her support network, and her commitment to finding a resolution that honored her own sense of dignity and self-respect. Whether she chose to rebuild her relationship with Mark or to move forward separately, the experience of navigating the aftermath of betrayal became a testament to her strength and her capacity for growth and healing. As Sarah embarked on the journey toward resolution following the intense confrontation with Mark, 
she found herself at a crossroads, grappling with the weight of the decisions before her and seeking a path forward that would honor her sense of self-worth and emotional well-being. The process of resolution was complex and multifaceted, involving a deep and introspective exploration of her values, her relationship with Mark, and the lessons she had learned through the painful experience of betrayal. The initial stages of resolution were marked by Sarah's ongoing reflection on the state of her marriage and her own emotional needs. The betrayal had left an indelible mark on her trust and sense of security, and she recognized that rebuilding a relationship after such a profound breach required more than just a superficial commitment to change. It demanded a genuine and sustained effort from both partners to address the underlying issues that had led to the infidelity and to restore the trust that had been so deeply damaged. Sarah's decision-making process was characterized by a careful evaluation of whether Mark's actions and promises for change were sincere and whether they aligned with her own desires for a healthy and fulfilling relationship. Throughout this period, Sarah sought to engage in open and honest communication with Mark. They participated in couples counseling sessions where they explored the root causes of Mark's infidelity and worked to develop strategies for rebuilding their relationship. These counseling sessions were both challenging and enlightening, providing a structured space for Sarah and Mark to address their issues and to gain a deeper understanding of each other's perspectives. The process of counseling also highlighted the importance of accountability and transparency, as Mark was required to confront his actions and demonstrate a genuine commitment to change. Sarah also took the time to focus on her own personal growth and healing. The experience of betrayal had prompted her to reassess her own values, goals, and sense of self. She engaged in self-care practices that helped her to regain her emotional equilibrium and to rebuild her self-esteem. Activities such as journaling, therapy, and reconnecting with supportive friends and family members became integral to her journey of healing. These efforts were not only about coping with the aftermath of the betrayal, but also about rediscovering her own identity and sense of empowerment. As Sarah worked through the process of resolution, she found herself grappling with a range of emotions, hope, skepticism, and a renewed sense of determination. The journey was not linear. It involved periods of doubt and frustration, as well as moments of insight and clarity. Sarah's ability to navigate these emotional ups and downs was a testament to her resilience and her commitment to finding a path that was true to her own values and desires. She recognized that resolution required both patience and perseverance, and she approached the process with a mindset that was open to growth and change. Mark, for his part, faced the challenge of demonstrating his commitment to repairing the relationship and earning back Sarah's trust. He made efforts to be more transparent and communicative, acknowledging the need for ongoing work to address the issues that had led to his infidelity. His willingness to participate in counseling and to engage in self-reflection was an important step toward rebuilding their relationship. However, Mark's efforts were met with cautious optimism from Sarah, who remained vigilant in her assessment of his sincerity and commitment to change. The process of resolution also involved addressing practical considerations related to their relationship. Sarah and Mark had to navigate issues such as financial matters, living arrangements, and social dynamics as they worked through the aftermath of the betrayal. These practical considerations added another layer of complexity to their journey, requiring careful negotiation and compromise. The resolution process was not just about emotional healing, but also about finding practical solutions that would support the health and stability of their relationship moving forward. As Sarah and Mark continued to work on their relationship, they also focused on rebuilding their sense of connection and intimacy. They engaged in activities that allowed them to reconnect on a deeper level, such as shared experiences, open conversations, and quality time together. The process of rebuilding intimacy was gradual and required ongoing effort from both partners. It involved creating new memories and reinforcing positive aspects of their relationship while also addressing the lingering effects of the betrayal. 
The lessons learned from the experience of betrayal were profound and far-reaching. For Sarah, the journey highlighted the importance of self-awareness, self-care, and the need for open and honest communication in a relationship. She gained a deeper understanding of her own values and boundaries, as well as a greater appreciation for the complexities of trust and commitment. The experience also reinforced the significance of maintaining a strong support network and seeking professional guidance when navigating challenging situations. For Mark, the experience of betrayal served as a wake-up call regarding the importance of integrity and accountability in a relationship. He learned valuable lessons about the consequences of his actions and the need for genuine remorse and commitment to change. The process of working through the aftermath of his infidelity required him to confront difficult truths about himself and to take responsibility for the impact of his behavior on his relationship with Sarah. The resolution of Sarah and Mark's relationship was ultimately shaped by their ability to navigate the complexities of their situation with honesty, empathy, and a commitment to growth. The journey was marked by a blend of emotional resilience, personal introspection, and practical considerations. As they moved forward, Sarah and Mark both recognized that their relationship had been irrevocably changed by the experience of betrayal. However, they also saw an opportunity for growth and renewal, a chance to rebuild their connection and to create a new chapter in their lives. The resolution process was not about erasing the past, but about finding a way to move forward with a renewed sense of understanding and commitment. It involved acknowledging the pain and challenges of the past, while also embracing the potential for a brighter future. For Sarah and Mark, the journey of resolution was a testament to their resilience and their willingness to confront the difficult truths of their relationship. It was an opportunity to learn from their experiences and to build a future that reflected their own values and aspirations. In the end, the resolution of Sarah and Mark's relationship was a testament to the complexities of love and trust. The experience of betrayal had tested the foundations of their relationship, but it also provided them with an opportunity for growth and renewal. As they moved forward, they carried with them the lessons learned from their journey, a deeper understanding of themselves, each other, and the importance of navigating their relationship with honesty and integrity. As Sarah and Mark continued to navigate the aftermath of their tumultuous journey, they found themselves at a crucial juncture where their experiences could serve as a powerful catalyst for positive change. Their story, marked by profound betrayal and challenging resolution, was not just a personal narrative, but also a source of inspiration and reflection for others who might be grappling with similar issues in their own relationships. Recognizing the significance of their journey, Sarah and Mark understood the importance of sharing their experiences and insights to foster a broader dialogue about trust, healing, and personal growth. For Sarah, the call to action was about using her story to advocate for open conversations about infidelity and the complexities of rebuilding trust. She realized that her experiences could offer valuable lessons to others who might be struggling with the impact of betrayal in their own lives. Sarah began to engage in speaking opportunities and online forums, where she shared her journey and the lessons she had learned about self-worth, resilience, and the importance of seeking support. Her message emphasized the need for honest communication in relationships and the importance of addressing issues head-on rather than avoiding difficult conversations. As Sarah and Mark continued to navigate the aftermath of their tumultuous journey, they found themselves at a crucial juncture where their experiences could serve as a powerful catalyst for positive change. Their story, marked by profound betrayal and challenging resolution, was not just a personal narrative, but also a source of inspiration and reflection for others who might be grappling with similar issues in their own relationships. Recognizing the significance of their journey, Sarah and Mark understood the importance of sharing their experiences and insights to foster a broader dialogue about trust, healing, and personal growth. For Sarah, the call to action was about using her story to advocate for open conversations about infidelity and the complexities of rebuilding trust. 
she realized that her experiences could offer valuable lessons to others who might be struggling with the impact of betrayal in their own lives. Sarah began to engage in speaking opportunities and online forums, where she shared her journey and the lessons she had learned about self-worth, resilience, and the importance of seeking support. Her message emphasized the need for honest communication in relationships and the importance of addressing issues head-on rather than avoiding difficult conversations. Sarah also started a blog dedicated to discussing the emotional aspects of dealing with infidelity and the steps towards healing and reconciliation. Through her writing, she aimed to create a supportive community for individuals facing similar challenges, offering practical advice and emotional support based on her own experiences. Her blog became a platform for sharing stories, providing resources, and fostering discussions about the realities of betrayal and the path to recovery. Sarah's initiative resonated with many readers who found solace and guidance in her candid reflections and practical insights. Mark, on the other hand, focused on using his experience to advocate for personal accountability and the importance of making amends in the wake of betrayal. He recognized that his actions had not only hurt Sarah, but also underscored the broader need for integrity and responsibility in relationships. Mark began participating in workshops and seminars aimed at educating others about the consequences of infidelity and the steps required to rebuild trust. His approach was grounded in a commitment to transparency and honesty as he shared his own journey of self-reflection and the efforts he had made to address the issues that led to his infidelity. Together, Sarah and Mark collaborated on creating a series of educational videos and online resources that explored the dynamics of trust, forgiveness, and personal growth. Their content aimed to provide practical advice for couples dealing with infidelity and to offer insights into the process of rebuilding a relationship after betrayal. The videos featured their personal stories, expert interviews, and interactive discussions, creating a comprehensive resource for individuals seeking guidance and support. Their collaborative effort was driven by a shared commitment to helping others navigate the complexities of relationship challenges and to fostering a culture of openness and understanding. In addition to their online initiatives, Sarah and Mark also engaged in community outreach, participating in support groups and counseling sessions to provide first-hand insights and support to individuals facing similar issues. Their involvement in these settings allowed them to connect with people on a personal level, offering empathy and encouragement based on their own experiences. They found that their presence in these spaces provided a sense of validation and hope to those struggling with the aftermath of infidelity reinforcing the idea that healing and resolution are possible, even in the face of profound betrayal. The call to action for Sarah and Mark extended beyond their own experiences to a broader advocacy for healthier relationships and emotional well-being. They emphasized the importance of addressing issues such as infidelity with compassion and understanding, while also highlighting the need for personal accountability and commitment to change. Their message was one of hope and resilience, encouraging individuals to confront challenges with courage and to seek support when navigating difficult emotions and decisions. As Sarah and Mark continued to share their story and advocate for positive change, they found a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment. Their experiences had transformed from a source of personal pain into a platform for inspiring and supporting others. They recognized that their journey, while deeply challenging, had also equipped them with valuable insights and tools for fostering healthier and more resilient relationships. For viewers and readers, the call to action was an invitation to engage in a meaningful dialogue about the realities of betrayal, the process of healing, and the steps required to rebuild trust and intimacy. Sarah and Mark's story served as a reminder that even in the face of profound challenges, there is an opportunity for growth, understanding, and renewal. Their journey underscored the importance of addressing issues with honesty and compassion and of seeking support and guidance when navigating the complexities of relationships. 
As the video concluded, Sarah and Mark encouraged their audience to reflect on their own relationships and to consider the importance of trust, communication, and personal growth. They urged viewers to take proactive steps towards addressing issues in their own lives and to seek support when needed. The call to action was not just about their personal experiences, but about fostering a broader conversation about the challenges and opportunities inherent in relationships and about empowering individuals to create healthier and more fulfilling connections. In summary, Sarah and Mark's call to action was a powerful and inspiring initiative aimed at leveraging their experiences to foster positive change and support for others. Through their advocacy, educational resources, and community engagement, they sought to provide valuable insights and encouragement for individuals facing similar challenges. Their story was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the potential for growth and healing even in the wake of profound betrayal. The call to action was a reminder of the importance of addressing relationship challenges with openness, integrity, and a commitment to personal and collective